All right, hey there, guys. Adrian the Costa here, aka Jedi Bro ninety five. We're coming at you guys with another video. I know this is a continuation of gameplay from the last NBA discussion video I had, but you know, fuck it, I might as well just keep going. But in this video, I'm going to be talking about something that I've had on my mind uh, for the NBA for a while now, and I said this after the twenty twenty NBA playoffs. Uh, and I personally think it is time for Toronto to blow it up. I have been a believer of this since the bubble, since we literally saw Pascal Siakam play absolute dog shit in the postseason. I think it is time for the Raptors to blow it up and start over because here's the reason I th th thought about this at first was because, well, Serge Ibaka's are getting up there in age. Marcus Gasol is on the verge of retirement, uh, and they've left, okay, the Clippers got Serge Ibaka and the Lakers got Marcus Gasol, so they left. Um, also, Kyle Lowry is getting up there in age. He's like 34 years old, and granted, he still can be productive, but I think keeping a 34-year-old Ross, a man around on a rebuilding on a or on a rebuilding roster or on a roster that isn't competing for championships, uh, I don't think is really worth his time, and I don't think that's really fair to him. Uh, Pascal Siakam, I've, I've had this thought for a while now, and I'm going to actually I'm fully admit this. Pascal Siakam is one of the most overrated players I have seen in the NBA in a few, in the last few years. The man is not a very, I wouldn't say not very good as he is a, he is a good player and he is an all NBA player, all NBA caliber player. But if you were one of those people that thought that he was going to be a superstar, he was going to lead the Raptors to the promised land, he was going to be Kawhi's successor, and he was going to be that guy that leads Toronto to championships, I hope last season's bubble and postseason opened your eyes to how overrated he is. Because I thought about this even back in uh, the summer of 2019, when Kawhi left to go to the Clippers, I said to my, I even said to some of my buddies, and I, you can ask them if you ever ha ever see this video and they have this conversation. I said it out loud. I don't think Pascal Siakam is that good. Like, don't get me wrong, he's a great second and third option, but he is not the guy that is going to lead the Raptors. And I am, I've been proven right. Okay, don't get me wrong, he's led them to, he got them good regular season success. But success is measured in postseason victories and postseason success. And granted, yes, they were a game away from making the conference finals, but that kind of proves my point. They were going down the stretch in the in the second round. Okay, I don't think a champion a championship team doesn't really go down the stretch in the second round that often. Okay, sometimes it does happen, but and even then. Brings me to my next point of why I think Toronto should blow it up. Look at the Eastern Conference right now. Miami, Boston, Milwaukee just got better. Brooklyn is my pick to come out of the Eastern Conference. Philly, if they can somehow make it work and get and succeed in the postseason. Again, they're in the same boat as Toronto. I need to see them in the postseason to really be a believer in them. I don't care if they're off to a really hot start. Uh, Indiana's off to a really great start, but again, I need to see them in the postseason. But it's really great to see that they're off to a fantastic start. Um, so yeah, you got all these teams that I literally just mentioned. One could legit argue, except maybe Indiana could beat them in a playoff series. Milwaukee, I think, could beat them in a postseason series. Um, Boston definitely can. Miami, I would argue, would have beat them in the conference finals in six games last year. Um, trying to remember all the teams I just listed. Um... You get what I mean? Like, every team that I listed except Indiana, I think could win a playoff series against the Raptors. Because Pascal Siakam's not that good. He's not going to be that guy that leads them to wins. Not only that, when we look at the Eastern Conference continuing on, the Hawks just got better. And the Hawks are going to continue to get better as time progresses. Because Trey Young is going to be really good. I think he is going to be better. Well, I think he already is better than Pascal Siakam. And I think he is going to make a splash in the postseason this year if they do make the postseason, hopefully. I know it might be early, but hey, who knows. And if they do make the postseason and they at least get to the second round, I think in the next couple of years they could be a championship contender. Personally, I think they could. Um, yeah, Atlanta, 
is getting better. Uh, like, and again, Toronto's getting older. Teams are getting much more bet, much more better in the Eastern Conference. And looking at the East in the thick of things right now, if you're paying the salary cap you have, which is maybe not as high as it was with Marcus Gasol and Serge Ibaka, but to be a second round out at best, I I really don't think that's fair for guys like Kyle Lowry on that roster or guys like uh, even Pascal Siakam. I don't think it's fair because he's a good second option. Don't get me wrong. He's, he's just not – he's just trash as a first option in my opinion. I don't give a shit about his regular season production, okay? We need to see him in the postseason, okay? He could be great in the regular season, and that's fine. But I care more about the postseason. So that's just something that's been on my mind about the Raptors. Uh, I've, Like I said, I've had this thought since the bubble. I've been saying they should blow it up. They, they're not going to get anywhere because I would argue that all those teams... Actually, I don't even think it's an argument. I think it should be common knowledge that teams like the Nets, Sixers, uh, Celtics, Heat, and... Um, yeah, and uh, all those, I think they could win a postseason series against the Raptors. And a lot of, I think what a lot of people generated the Pascal hype from is because while well, they were saying that Pascal, like the Raptors without Kawhi Leonard had a winning record. They were better without Kawhi on the floor than they were with Kawhi on the floor. I mean, okay, that may be, but some of those teams that you pro- went up against were probably not very good. I'm not, I'm not looking at it right now because I'm just doing this off top off the top of my head right now. But I think, yeah, like I think a lot of those teams that they're playing against that Kawhi sat out in, these were really bad teams at the time that. I would expect the Raptors with Pascal Siakam as the primary focal point to to win. And the thing is is that I think a lot of people put to also those expectations on Pascal because of not just because of that but because of you know how good he was actually pretty good in the postseason in 2019, okay? He had some up and down moments, but overall he was very solid. However, what people tend to forget is how much Kawhi Leonard had to do to make sure they even sniffed a finals, let alone win the damn thing. He had to do so much to sniff a finals appearance. Okay, Kawhi Leonard had had the greatest postseason run of his career, and one could legit argue a playoff run that's comparable to well, that. Not, not I'll argue. One could say I would argue. I would say that. It is one of the best playoff runs ever. I wouldn't. Pu- I don't know where I would rank it exactly, but I would say it's one of the best postseason runs ever. But again, a lot of people just forgot, especially Raptors fans, how much Kawhi had to do. And when they were eliminated by Boston last year, you know, I, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna sound a little petty here, but I did not feel sorry for the Raptors. Because of the fans, okay? Don't disrespect to the team. The team is fine, okay? It's just the fan base of the Raptors. Kind of like how I feel with James Harden, okay? And the Rockets. It's not a thing about the Rockets franchise. It's the fucking fan base of James Harden that really irritates me and doesn't make me like the Rockets. And it was the same thing for me last year when it came to the Raptors. Because a lot of Raptors fans were saying, we were better without Kawhi. We're going to repeat... You know, we're going to do all this and this and this. Pascal Siakam's going to be so good. And yet, here he is, lay, being, well, and he was a complete dud in the postseason. And he had one of the worst, po- he had the worst postseason of his career by far. And the worst, worst postseason out of anybody in the 2020 postseason. So, again, this is just my thoughts. I would, I honestly, I'm open to this conversation. I want to hear about this one because I know this is a really hot take, but I personally think it is time for Toronto to blow it up and start over. So let me know in the comment section below, guys, if you do agree or disagree with this. Uh, also, drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy the content. And with that being said, I am out. Peace.